pre-Plymouth away. Steve, what's the reaction been on the training field this week? Um, it's been good, it's been lively. Um, very disappointed after the weekend's result. Um, um, I mean, um, it's one of them results we can't really put a finger on, it's just a bad performance. And um, the lads came in Monday and they were absolutely fine. I think the way the staff work here, they like to get you back on back on track. We, we, we watched the DVD and uh, the bits about the game um, where we could improve, but um, after that it was back to work and trying to get lively and, and preparing, for, preparing for Plymouth Saturday. And have you got to the root of why it happened on Saturday? Because obviously the start in, in the first half, not, not good enough. Yeah, I don't, I don't know really. Um, we, we watched the DVD and there was bits and bobs um, where we, we could have improved and you know it was individual errors in some areas and and collectively as a team we didn't we didn't quite click that day but um, I mean like you say we've, we've worked hard and we're lively and, and we're ready for we're ready for Saturday to try and put it right. And as club captain is there any extra sort of impetus on, on you to, to lead the way if you like? Um, of course yeah I mean um, as, as a captain and a, and a leader you want to you want to be out there and you want to want to lead the lads and, and try and encourage in that and some sometimes it works sometimes you know you get these bad games now to get it's the the way it is in, in league two the consistency this season for us has, has not been there um all the time so you know we've just got to just got to keep smiling keep digging in and working hard in training and, and hopefully get them breaks and i suppose obviously he wasn't in the team all the time but russ penn was a, a voice as well around the dress room is, is there a sort of need for you to you know, say a little bit more without Russ around as well. Um, yeah, I mean, we've still got characters in the in the dressing room. You know, there's there's a few of them. I mean, um, Russ was a great character. Um, as was Keith and Bill and whoever's been here. We we always uh, welcome any player and, and and try and settle in as a team. But um, <laughs> we always try and settle in as a team. And, and there's characters all over the dressing room. So you know, um, they've gone on to do to do things, and and uh, we've just got to carry on and, and try and take take up where we left off. And I suppose three points at Plymouth this Saturday and suddenly it's, it's crisis what crisis isn't it? Yeah well there's a, couple, there's a few games now where we think we can pick up points I mean Accrington we were looking for three points obviously but the next few games I think Plymouth and Northampton so you know we're going to we're going to be looking for um, for, for maximum points um, we have to prepare right we have to do everything right and uh, make sure we, we're capable of doing that. Is there a little bit of relief to be getting back on the road again? Because obviously the away form has been so good this season. Um, yeah, we have been better away from home. There's no getting around that. But um, I think I'm, our main concern is trying to pick up the home form. But um, yeah, away from home we've been we've been decent. Um, I think we played well against Burton, and you know we just <clears throat> couldn't couldn't finish that that job off there. Um, but um, we're back into it now. We're disappointed from Saturday, and uh, looking forward to Plymouth. And obviously Plymouth just above you in the table, but it's one of those where if you win, you know you will climb. Yeah, of course. I mean, um, yeah, Plymouth one pl one place above us. Pretty similar, pretty similar season so far. So, yeah, it's a it's a game where we know we can win it, and uh, we'll be going there to do that. Thank you. Good luck. Cheers. Steve, you've got an impressive gash on your shin. It wasn't Oda J, was it? No, um, <laughs> I can't remember. It was I, uh, one of them was Sam Deering, of all people, but um, in training. And then I just got a whack on it again Saturday. But um, yeah, it's all right, it's only a slight graze, no problem. Yeah, you, the defence was so strong for, from Tamworth, second half onwards when you came back, wasn't it? You, mm. you had such a good run. There's, you know, why, have you got any idea why you've, you've been leaking a few you know, the sloppy um, goals have, have crept back in a little, haven't they, the last couple of games? Yeah, um, I'm not, I can't really put my finger on it really. Um, I think the, the, the breaks, the postponements don't help. Um, not being able to get out on the training pitch as much as we would like probably with the weather and the, the waterlogged pitch and <clears throat> you know it's just um, need refreshing sometimes um, and sometimes you just catch a team who, who beat you and, and that's what it is so you know um, like I said before we're, we're doing everything we can in training um, working and trying to get back to where we were like say after the Tamworth game and, and there on so hopefully we'll, we'll get back to it and uh, that'll start Saturday. Yeah previous trips to home park you've, you've won there with Derby uh, a few years ago, yeah. Um, in the cup was FA Cup was that, but not really had much joy there recently. Um, no, not not ones I've played in. Um, I, I was rested for the win just before the playoffs uh, two years ago, um, and uh, now I've never had much joy down there. But um, I'll change that Saturday. Yeah, it's quite a big ground, isn't it? And uh, they they do create a bit of atmosphere. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's never. There's a good fan base there, and they're, they're a big club. That they're they're a big club in our division. Um, you know, so yeah, it's always going to be. It's a difficult place to go. It's a it's a trek for anyone, and <clears throat> um, it's normally an overnighter. So we can prepare right and uh, looking to get three points. Yeah, overnighters this season. You've had a few, and it's led to some good results at places like Accrington, uh, Fleetwood, I think Dagenham. You know, you've, yeah. you have delivered, yeah. which is you know, which makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? Doing it properly. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, um, yeah, it, it it does help. Um, you know, you get you get your sleep, you get your food, you get everything right, and uh, there's no early early wake up calls to travel and get picked up. So, you know, yeah, it's the right way to do it, I think. And um, and uh, hopefully Saturday will, will will show that that is why. Yeah, just I don't want to dwell on it too much. Back into game, Troy Brown came out and sort of held his hand up for the for the part he played in both the goals, which is you know big of him, but. Do you think you know backing him to sort of bounce straight back on Saturday, yeah. put it behind him quickly? Yeah, of course. That's the nature of the game. You know, games come around thick and fast, and everyone's going to make mistakes. And um, the quicker he learns to bounce back from the mistakes and f not forget about them, but learn from them and uh, and um, get back on it, then he'll be fine. He, I'm, I'm sure he will be. He's got everything. He wants a centre half. He's just. You know he's still young. He's plenty of time for him. So yeah, I'm sure I'm sure he'll be fine. He's, he's done quite well since he came back from the hamstring injury, hasn't he? He's pierced probably not many not many bad games since then. Yeah, and that, that's the that's the key to it. You know, you try and get as consistent as you can, as soon as you can. And um, he, he's done well since he, he's come in. And uh, I mean, it's his first season. I, when I ever moved a club, move club, I always found it pretty difficult. The first season, you're settling in, you're getting everything sorted out, you new teammates and. And uh, I think you've seen the second half of the season that he's come. He's come on, and uh, I think he'll be a good asset for the club. Yeah, brilliant. Cheers, Cheers. Steve. Thank Cheers, you. John.